Tony D and Little Joan just off camera, and this is a screenwriter's rant on Monica, a movie that uh, appears to be about a trans character, but I, I'm not totally sure what the movie's about. Smash like and subscribe. Thank you for smash liking and subscribing. Check out my books. Links in the description. Comedy Horror in South Jersey. It's the Pineys. Books 1 through 11. Available at Amazon.com. Don't forget, Kindle Unlimited is free. So the trailer starts off, I suspect how the movie starts off, with Monica uh, sitting around at a bar, looking hot, and she calls someone and says, I know you don't want to see me, but I'm coming out anyway. So she drives out to wherever it is, and um, there's a bunch of scenes with little kids and babies, and uh, I guess this is, they don't really tell you, but I guess it, it's her mother who's dying uh, of dementia, and uh, they say to her, oh, we don't even, don't even recognize you. And then this comes up, inspiring, raises the bar for trans stories. Okay, it's a, says Indy Wire, it's a story about a trans person. But you don't really, you, you sort of dance around the subject in the trailer and keep telling me it's a wondrous work. What is it about? I assume from the context, it's about her mother dying and not remembering her. And so she gets to spend time with her mother, even though she is uh, trans, and the mother doesn't recognize her. I guess. I don't. I don't know. It it's so wrapped. The trailer is so wrapped up in telling me how great the movie is. It just won't tell me about the damn movie. I mean, that would. That sounds like what it's about. I guess. The, the, the mother is dying, um, ha, has some sort of dementia, and doesn't remember, I assume, her son who became Monica. There's violin music and dramatic moments, but, you know, it's not really, you're not really telling me what the damn movie's about. Why not just tell me? Why why not just show it in the trailer? It's so frustrating to see trailers like this. Directed by Andrea Paladora or Pala Oro. Written by Andrea and Orlando Torado. And so I guess. I don't know. Am I supposed to know what this is about just because there's a trans person in it? I mean, maybe it's not. Maybe it's not that, about that at all. I don't know. Maybe maybe I've picked the wrong character that's trans. Maybe a different character in a movie is trans, and I, I just don't know. It, it's very possible. I don't think so, but it's possible. It's like, I get it. You made a movie about a trans person. Okay. Now tell me what the movie's about. <laughs> That's not a substitute. Just because you have a trans character in the movie and it's a drama, that doesn't automatically make it about the trans person. That doesn't automatically fill in all the blanks. You still have to make a story. I mean, I, I there's one line in the movie... Something like, um, I am no longer a mother. That, 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 that Monica's quoting, I guess her mother, but I don't even know for sure if that's her mother. I guess it is. So, first act, Monica is living as a woman, but we don't know, and, and I guess the audience doesn't know, but that's the one thing the trailer gives away. <laughs> so... So Monica's trans, living as a woman, 
in wherever she's living and gets the notice that her mother's on a steep decline and she doesn't have much time left. I think there's something else too. Um, some other issue with her. Maybe she's going to get an operation. I don't know. It's hard to tell. So she calls whoever. Don't don't even know who she's talking to and says, I'm going I'm to come out there. All right. Second act, she travels out there. Uh, they show they show a couple of seconds of her at a gas station like if you're going to show me that if you're going to show me that detail why what does that have to do with the drama why are you showing me the traveling in the trailer i mean it's bad enough to show it in a movie unless it's relevant somehow now i have no doubt that if it's a movie about a trans person that there's probably a scene in a gas station where I don't know, she gets hit on by some guy and then the guy either, she either tells him that, oh, by the way, I'm trans and then he is no longer interested or gets mad or not. I, I don't know. Is it is it all about Monica and being trans? If, you, if it is, you might as well just lean into it and show it in the trailer. What, what do you hope to do by hiding it? You hope to lure people in who, oh, I, I didn't know it was about a trans person, and then have them be pleasantly surprised? Audiences aren't typically pleasantly surprised when they go into a movie and they think it's about one thing and then it's about something else. They're just not. It's just not a, you know... They want certain expectations about a film. And this is the exact opposite of what you do. In Hollywood, in movies, you show, you don't tell. This trailer tells me how good the movie is. Over and over again. Rather than showing me something. Other than a bunch of disjointed scenes of people walking around, looking dreary and... Uh, mildly disinterested <laughs> and then a couple of scenes of actual drama but I, they were so out of context I'm, I'm not sure what they're about they could be about a lot of things maybe Monica's the one dying I don't know you didn't tell me so it's not enough like just because you made a movie about a trans character doesn't like immediately give you an Oscar and put you on a pedestal. You still have to do the work. You still have to show me the story and build it in the movie and in the trailer. If you want people to go see it, unless it's, oh, this is only for people who are, you know, woke and going to see movies about trans people because they're going to go see them all, I guess. Is that the thinking behind this? Because that's not the way you should build a movie or an audience. You should make the movie a cool and look trans people have drama certainly <clears throat> their situation is unusual and um, there's drama to be drawn from there in within family members so show us some a little bit of it in the trailer give me a taste of what the conflict is or you know you leave me to guess I just throw up my hands and go, well, I'm not sure what that movie's about. I guess I'll wait for somebody else to see it and tell me if it's any good. But you've already spent two half the trailer telling me how great it is. That's not... And, and, and look, not for nothing, critics have burned their credibility. How many, how many times have we seen critic ratings and Rotten Tomatoes go sky high and the audience rating is in the toilet? because a bunch of the critics got together and just praised something because it aligned with their political beliefs. Too many times. So that isn't exactly selling the movie anymore. In fact, that's probably doing the exact opposite. So who's going to see this? The audience you already have captured. The woke audience who, who, will, who will feel like they have to go see it in order to be good people. I guess. And that's a very tiny audience. And that's a shame because it doesn't look bad. It might be very good, but I don't know. Who knows? I. So, yeah. 
So first act, she goes out there. Second act, there's a bunch of drama in the family. Third act, something gets resolved or not, and Monica changes for the worse or the better. Uh, stunning, powerful, brave. I mean, you're, you're already telling me that, and the movie hasn't even come out yet. So I don't know. Would I see it? I No, I wouldn't go see it. Uh, I wouldn't. I wouldn't stream it. I would wait until, you know, some critic I trusted at least saw it and could tell me it's good. But I don't know a lot of critics who are going to see an IFC movie like this. And it's not exactly my kind of movie anyway. So, no. I mean, I'm, I'm that far off the fence. It's like, you're going to have to work to get me to go see it, but... I mean, for other people who want to go see dramas, I, I, I guess. If I get dragged to it on a date, I might see it. I might question my date's taste in movies if they were so hot to see it. <laughs> and then I had to go, well, that was good or not very good or whatever. And then I'd have to defend my position against someone who saw it for political reasons. But uh, whatever. Uh, it's called Monica. Uh, let's see what it what it says here. A woman returns home to care for her ailing mother, who she hasn't seen in years, in this tender portrait of a family forgiveness and acceptance. Okay, but see, again, did you just wokeify the description of this movie? Because the write up in the trailer says there's a trans character in it. If you're going to refer to Monica as just a woman and she's trans, well, you're kind of undercutting your own narrative here. If that's the whole reason to watch the movie. So. <laughs> now, I. Now you make me think, okay, well, there has to be a trans character in this unless that was completely wrong. So I assume it's not, and I assume it's Monica. But you wrote a woman. So what does that get you? Does that get you anything? Does that clarify it for you? Does that, does that make any sense to do that? When the whole point of the movie probably is the character's trans and their struggles with their mother and they're only able to see their mother because the mother is so far gone she doesn't recognize her own son who's trans I mean again that's not a bad premise it's you know it would be kind of cool but if you're not if you're going to you're going to play this game I, I definitely don't want to see it so anyhow that's it for me Tony D and little Joan just off camera Check us out on Odyssey, BitChute, and Rumble for our more base takes. If you can find a more base take than that, take it. I'll be at the Ocean City Comic Con on Sunday when you're probably seeing this. Uh, come on by the Ocean City Music Pier. I'll be there 10 to 4, and we'll see you in the next one. Oh, live stream today, probably going to be at 9.